Hey everybody, this is Dark Monster Moon 87 here. And first and foremost, Merry Christmas to you all. Every one of you. <laughs> and also, big shout out to all of you. I appreciate all your support and everything. And I love it. Like, honestly, it, it's, it means so much to me. It really does. Another thing is, I actually got a gift from my mother <laughs> this jacket you see right here it's pretty nice i love it it matches a lot of my hats that i collect and everything like that now i'm gonna answer a few questions one of them is that um what kind of gold skills do i use in warriors orochi 3 and honestly at first i was like all right it's going to be kind of tough, but then I'm like, okay, I'll answer it. One of the skills that I use most of the time would be Typhoon. Um, another one would be Echo, depending. Multi, not really. It depends on what character it is. And what else? The, the gold skill that everybody inboxes me about and goes... You should put this on a character. It'll, it'll be so amazing on chaos mode. Honestly, it doesn't amaze me at all. Like, it makes everything seem so damn easy. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to look at this damn camera. It's like hard to look at this camera and then talk all at the same damn time. So let me just try to focus on this camera. <laughs> so they tell me, they go, yo, um, use brilliance. Put it on, and, and the character that they want me, no matter what character it is, period, like, you know, it's going to make the game easy, no matter what. The game's not going to be a challenge or anything. If you have to put brilliance and another gold skill on a character, the game is going to be way too damn easy. And I don't really like using brilliance like that in Warriors of Rochi 3. I, I really don't. And if I do... It's just for shits and giggles, to be honest with you. It's not to, all right, let me go through a chaos walkthrough and kick ass. So for those of you that do that, you know, I have nothing against you for doing that. But that's not the way I make walkthroughs and everything. I want it to be challenging, not too damn easy. Um, I'm not going to put brilliance on Tadakatsu. He's already strong as hell as it is. Lubu. Um... There's a lot of strong characters in, in the game itself. So why the hell am I going to make them even stronger and then go through chaos mode and just make it seem like it's easy mode? That's just a waste of time and it's boring. Like the stage will be done in like two two minutes, to, the most five minutes top. So I don't even bother. I love a challenge and I love, you know, once I have a character maxed out and everything, I love the game to be cha challenging i don't want it to be boring and oh i just wiped out everybody whoop de doo i i did it yes i nah fuck that um another thing everybody asks me that i'm gonna answer also is that well they didn't just ask me they showed me this channel and i, I it just fucked my head all up i'm not gonna lie and I started laughing because this person basically said, Dynasty Warriors 8 is coming out on PS Vita. Now, Tecmo Koei and I, the company itself in Europe, Inspector Chin, and a couple of people that work with Tecmo Koei, they give me every bit of information that a lot of people aren't supposed to, you know what I'm saying? They're not supposed to have right away. So certain gaming information they give me to share with you guys, the world. I don't really have to do that because that's my business. But they let me know. They said, you know what? You can promote it if you want. And it would help us a ton. And I do that because I love the Tecmo Koei company because it's not just a company. It's a family. You know, and they treat you like family. So this person, to make a long story short, because it, it just cracks me the hell up. <laughs> this person 
goes Dynasty Warriors 8 is going to come out on PS Vita. Um, if you want to get something close to Dynasty Warriors 8, then get Dynasty Warriors next on PS Vita. Now, everybody that's in the hack and slash community and plays Dynasty Warrior type games or even heard of Dynasty Warriors next knows damn well that has shit to do with Dynasty Warriors 8. Shit, it has nothing to do with that game. Dynasty Warriors 8 is a completely different game. It's it's so completely different that they're still adding characters. Like, there's people assuming, oh, there's just 70 plus. You don't know what the hell is going to happen from here till February 28th. You, you really don't know. So, for those of you giving out that false information, do some research before you post a trailer or do some stupid ass shit and then people comment below and go yo you're fucking retarded and all this other shit you're gonna get negative comments off that shit because you're posting false advertisement slash stories about a game that's not even fucking the the shit you're making up is bullshit there is no dynasty warriors 8 on ps vita letting you all that right now the Dynasty Warriors 8 game is an exclusive on PlayStation 3. Xbox 360, they haven't said anything about it. I'm just letting everybody know that right now. I'm sorry. It's disappointing. I know. It's fucked up. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to everybody like everybody else does lately about the Dynasty Warriors 8 news. Also, there's a whole bunch of new additional add-ons in Dynasty Warriors 8 whole bunch of different fighting styles, just a whole bunch of everything, you know, and they just recently added a few more characters, like a couple of days ago, they added a few more characters, and that was when they were saying, oh, there's 70 plus, 70 plus, plus those characters they just added. And there's more characters, most likely, that they're going to be adding. Because there's too many Shu characters. There's too many Wu characters. No, there's too many Shu and Jin characters. Let me take that back. The Wu army doesn't have too many new characters. And the Wei army has a decent amount. So, most likely, they're going to make all the armies an even amount. And they're probably going to add more bosses, like Labu type style fighters and everything like that. So I don't think it's just going to be plus 70. That's what they're saying now. I think by the time it comes out on release date, which is February 28th in Japan, you can import it at PlayAsia.com. You guys know what that site is. If you don't, then I just told you right now what it is. It's a site where you can order, import games, if, even if they're not imported. They, they have games from North America, um, Europe, wh- wh- wherever. They have, they have it. Even if it's Dreamcast, like classic systems, they, they have it. So you can pre-order it now. They have the Treasure Box Edition and everything like that. As for people going around saying, oh, it's an exclusive on PS Vita. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. And and when I heard that, I just cracked the fuck up. (laughs) Like, it it just amused the hell out of me. I don't know where the hell these people get the information about. Like, if you really want to know what's going on with any hack and slash type game, search for it. Don't just assume and make something up for the people to go oh yeah because you're just crushing people's dreams like there's a lot of people that love hack and slash type gaming and there's a lot of people that you know they look forward for it to be on this system and you're telling them a completely different system and they're depressed now they're like oh man this sucks but as of now, that's the news that I have. That's the news that Tecmo Koei gave me that it's an exclusive for PlayStation 3. Now, Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires, that's going to be on PSN. The Xbox, they still haven't told me anything yet. But 
I don't know. I think they're deading uh, the Xbox. I don't. I don't know what the fuck is going on. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna sit here and and tell you a falsy story and everything. I'm just gonna wait patiently to see if they change their minds or something's going on. And you know they they have their reasons. They're they're not just gonna cut something off a system and not tell anybody. Especially on um, sites like Twitter, Facebook, or Google, there's always a uh, somebody interviewing and writing a blog about something like that. So, um, what else? Honestly, I'm I'm looking forward to to the game. I I really am. I'm very hyped about Dynasty Warriors Seven Empires, Dynasty Warriors Eight. And Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage 2. I'm, I'm hyped about those games. I'm even hyped about Max Anarchy. Because, like I was saying in my other commentary, that it's $30. The game is $30, and the DLCs that come with the game are free. You don't have to pay for the DLCs. So you get Bayonetta as a DLC. I don't know what other DLCs they had. I can find out. And... When I make another vlog, I'll inform everybody about it. But as for the people, I'm going to get back to the Dynasty Warriors 8 thing. As for those people that are putting those false information and everything, don't even bother with that. If you want to really find out and you really want me to find out what's going on, then I'll find out to the best of my capabilities and what they tell me and whatever they tell me i'll try to share with you and if they don't tell me anything then i'll just be patient and wait till 2013 when the first week of february comes maybe they change something i always figure out new information about any tecmo koei game also there's another one piece game coming out one piece two for the playstation 3 so for those of you that like One Piece and everything like that, they're coming out with a part two. So that's pretty interesting. And I'm looking forward to that because I actually do play One Piece. I love animes. So, And that's another question that everybody asks me. What type of animes do you love? Right now I'm looking at Saint Seiya Omega. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. I'm on episode... I think it's 37 to 38 right now. Yeah, I know. A lot of episodes I watch. But I watch it every week when it comes out. I have this app that I can basically watch any anime that comes out in Japan. Like a day before or something like that. And it's pretty awesome. I don't know what the... Matter of fact, I'll check right now. To my phone. What app it is so that way I can inform everybody about that app. It's a pretty good app for Androids, iPhones, or even if you have a computer, you can get the the software and watch. I think you pay like uh five dollars a month or they have a free trial. I don't remember. But okay, um it's called Crunchyroll. And what Crunchyroll basically is is that it has a ton of fucking anime i literally watched almost all the gundam wing episodes again uh gundam 00 but the animes that i love i love so many animes i love the classics i love some of the new ones like um i like yu yu Hakusho. i like ronin warriors i like bleach to a certain extent after a while the anime when they got you know, to it's like the episode, I forgot what the hell it was, but it started getting boring to me. I like Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, um, Kanichi, the Master Disciple, um, Dead Man's Wonderland, Cowboy Bebop, Zoids, Gundam Wing, G Gundam. Gundam Unicorn, Gundam Seed, Dragon Ball Z, of course. Who, who the hell hasn't watched that? Dragon Ball GT. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, what else? What other animes I like? I like Fatal Fury, the motion picture, and the other movies. I those movies are the shit. I Fatal Fury's off the hook. The Street Fighter Alpha movie, Street Fighter V, uh, Roni Kenshin, Guyver, uh, Lion Barrel. Yeah, Lion Barrel was, <laughs> it was awesome. That the anime he, he was like a pimp basically. He had all the girls that he ever dreamed of. Like some of the girls he didn't even want, and he was getting them anyway. <laughs> so that was badass. That anime was really good. Um, Epo's Road to Victory. There's an actual, I think it was for place. Yeah, it was for PlayStation Two called Epo's Ipo, Road to Victory. And there's actually an anime about Epo. Epo Makanuchi, I think his name was. He was a boxer. He was in the game Victorious Boxers. So those of you that ever played that game, it was like the Dragon Ball Z of boxing. That game was off the hook. I loved that game. Um, my cousin Jersey Boy introduced me to that game, and it was just fun. It was kick-ass. I wish they actually made that game again for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. That game would be nice. That would be a sick boxing game. Uh, what other animes do I watch? Um, that's all I could think about for right now. I watch so many damn animes. Um, also, everybody asks, what systems do I play on? I have so many systems. I play on PlayStation 3. I play on my Wii U, my Xbox 360, my PSP once in a bloom. My DS. So I play on different systems and I play different games sometimes. Sometimes I even play the classic systems when I want to play something classic like the old school Super Mario or just an old school game period. Uh, Vector Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Streets of Rage. So that's basically it right there. I'm also, they ask, am I a game collector? Yeah, pretty much. I'm a game collector. I collect animes also. I collect hats too. <laughs> um, and I just love hack and slash games. Like I have almost every single Dynasty Warriors game, Samurai Warriors game, Warriors of Roji game. But let me give you guys advice those of you that never played those types of games now where is the rochi i think it was two and one i think they had Al almighty and almighty is basically like where is the rochi three brilliance and that's just like the cheapest skill in the world if you have that equipped on a character you can kill anybody no matter what difficulty it is and it doesn't make the game fun. Like, if you want a challenge and everything, I suggest you never put that skill on a weapon. It's almighty for Warriors of Rochi 2. And Warriors of Rochi 3 is brilliant. So, I wouldn't bother with that. You know, unless you're having trouble with the game. But, not even. Just keep practicing and try to avoid that skill because that skill it just makes your character so overpowered you're like yeah i'm winning i don't understand i just got strong out of nowhere take the brilliance off and you'll see what i'm talking about then you'll go oh damn i this game just got very difficult now brilliance basically boosts up everything it, it'll boost up like most of the skills on, on in, in the game your character itself it, it's just a skill that sometimes i wish tecmo koei never put there to, <laughs> to begin with but i think they put it there because you know there's some people that the, the game is kind of hard for and i understand that so they try to make it gamer friendly so that way Nobody doesn't rage or anything like that. 
So, in a way, I don't blame them for making that, you know. People do want to have fun and bug out. But then there's serious gamers that love a challenge like myself, which I don't really want to put that on there. I don't. It just makes... <laughs> it, it'll it make my walkthroughs like three minutes long and that'll just be whack, lame as hell. I don't... Nah. Um... What else is going on here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, they were asking about the Dynasty Warriors 8 dual com. The person I will be doing a dual com with is Jersey Boy. He's my cousin, but I call him my brother because we grew up together and everything. And... We will be doing the dual com. So the dual com is going to be crazy as hell because you guys already heard me on the commentary. Sometimes I, I'm i just crazy and I'm funny. I say the most funniest shit sometimes. And then I give out information about a character. And you guys know the rest already. Also, I have a gift for all of you. I will be posting about three walkthroughs. Two of them are going to be major requests. So when you guys see that, you're going to be very happy. I'm just letting you all know that right now. So once this vlog is over, you will eventually see those most requested walkthroughs and will be very happy. But I'm going to give out a spoiler. One of them's another alpha male series and I got in so many emails so many inboxes so many DMs on Twitter about the alpha male series and it was just crazy how I just made that up and it became like such a such a hype like everybody would just talk about it on blogs and everything and I said wow all all of that because I made up an idea about I should make a series called the Alpha Male series. And it has to deal with the guys in Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors and the Warriors Orochi game. And it's just a crazy walkthrough of combos and people getting destroyed and scattered everywhere. And everybody enjoyed that. So when I got all that feedback, I said, hmm. Let me see how many times it's going to get requested over and over. I got about. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check through my phone right now. And I got about. Let's see. Right now, basically. And this is just on my other email. I have like th three emails. Um, my fan base email. They sent out a thousand emails in like two hours that they wanted the alpha male series requested. So after that happened, I was just like. <laughs> so I said, all right, this this has to happen. This just has to happen. Another thing is that I got a lot of great, awesome feedback. I thank you all, all of you. I honestly appreciate every one of you that take the time out of your lives to inbox me and tell me and, and, and are just so honest and passionate about it and go, yo, I'm such a fan of your channel and your channel makes me want to play these types of games. And I, I never was a big fan of the hack and slash community until I seen your channel. And this this channels out there that are hack and slash and everything, but they don't commentate. They don't make vlogs. They just play. You know, and they're they're great. Don't get me wrong, they're great. I could name a couple of a couple of people. They're awesome. Their channels are fucking cool, you know. But for some reason, and this is not the first time somebody told me this, they I, I get told 
you deserve way more subs. Um, you deserve the best of the best. You deserve, you know, you're you're just one of the greatest Tecmo Koei hack and slash gamers slash commentators out there. And, you know, I appreciate all that feedback. And it's not just 10 people telling me this. It's hundreds of people. You know, so for all those people to actually take the time out of their lives to tell me that. I love you for that. I honestly do. So I got to cut this short so that way I can get to those surprise gifts slash walkthroughs for all of you. (laughs) So Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas. Merry late Christmas to some of you because it's Monday for us, but it's Tuesday right now for certain people already. It's been Tuesday because the time, yeah, the time zone's different and all that shit. But anyway, stay tuned for more Dark Monster Moon 87, Mr. Hack and Slash walkthroughs, guides. As for the request, you know, um, I'll make my own walkthroughs, but if you guys wanted to add a request, like right now I have another Joan of Arc request, so there's probably going to be two walkthroughs of Joan of Arc. It'll be mine, and it'll be that that got requested, so stay tuned for that, Um, but the request about, which I got to be honest about, to put brilliance on a weapon... I want a challenge, so the brilliance, I'm, I might not put it, even though, you, you know, it's been requested. Um, I I don't know, that skill just, it, it's not, it's not interesting to me, it's really not. <laughs> but, stay tuned for more walkthroughs and everything, like I said. Make sure you check out Jersey Boy's channel, it's excellent, it has... Assassin's Creed 3, Fist in the North Star, Ken's Rage, Warriors of Rochi 3, Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, just all types of Call of Duty. It's an awesome channel. It's on my channel, so check it out. And check out Crimson Kunoichi. She also has Warriors of Rochi 3, Marvel's Capcom 3. She has fighting games. She has... Resident Evil 6, she has all types of different games, and her intros are pretty awesome. You'll you'll love them because it sounds like classic gaming mixed with, it's like mixed old school gaming mixed with new school. Shout out to everybody though that's been supporting me. I appreciate every one of you from Twitter, through my gaming channel, through all over the world. I'm just going to say all over the world because there's people from all over the world that hit me up every single day. I love you all. Have a good Christmas. God bless. See you on the next one. Peace.